Welcome to Do It Yourself E-Liquid Recipes. I'm John, I'm a flavor compounder and this time I will give you a quick review summary about a great butterscotch concentrate. This one is a butterscotch from Flavor West. Usually one of the most used flavors in either solo or in recipes is a butterscotch or caramel flavor. And in general caramel is a favorite to many people. When deciding which butterscotch to review first, the decision wasn't very hard to make this time. This concentrate from Flavor West stands out to me the most for two reasons. First, the balance of caramel and sweetness is excellent with a small side profile of cream which is just there for a better body and not intervening with the flavor delivery. The second reason is that this flavor is perfected straight out of the bottle. It is so balanced that it could work fine by itself in a solo recipe and taste just excellent. Something that you cannot do with many other concentrates without pairing them with at least one more flavor or a sweetener. For example, a great solo ratio that you could vape even as an all day mix is butterscotch at 11% with 19% of propylene glycol and 70% of vegetable glycerin. It will need about one day to steep and then it will make for a great tasting and inexpensive e-liquid. Now this flavor contains a small amount of acetoin similar to other caramel flavors. It is not dangerous unless you are a very frequent vapor using over 50 milliliters a day. But now I'm just letting you know just in case you have a sensitivity to it. It is recommended to leave the cup off the bottle after you mix it for a couple hours to help the juice vent faster. The recipes and combination that this flavor can be used in are almost unlimited, but I will mention the best ones to you. If you like making tobacco e-liquids, butterscotch will fit perfectly in most of your recipes and it's especially good when combined with the RY4 or a Cuban tobacco flavor. For pastries, you can pretty much use it in everything you make. If you like to add butterscotch to your recipes, in a ratio from anywhere at 1% up to 8% will work great. My favorite pair is vanilla and I will give you my most common made recipe. It is butterscotch at 8% with simply vanilla from Capella at 3% and marshmallow from TFA at 1% then blended with 18% of propylene glycol and 70% of vegetable glycerin. Regarding the nicotine, this flavor can take it very well without changing much. The highest I have tried is 18 milligrams, but you can also go up to 24 milligrams, but this is not recommended for everyone. If you have this flavor already, let me know how you'd like to use it in your mixes. And if you have a different solo ratio, let me know what you'd like to use. That is all for another video, see you next time.